Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice, and happy Sunday. Welcome back to another Art Journal Sunday. Today I'm going to be taking the first crack at Oil Pastels Water Based. That's right, that is 24 count by Mungio Company, and um, I felt like they would give me a chance to get a feel for what painting with oil would be like, and I was really excited at the fact that they are water based. So I just basically sketched in the background here in my Canson Series Mixed Media Art Journal, and I am starting off by using that white to base in the clouds, and then I'm going to use sky blue to base in the sky itself. After taking a water brush to kind of disperse this pigment around, you're going to see me go back in with cobalt blue in order to start adding some depth and shadows to the sky area itself. Now, I am telling you, this was not going to be anything too particular. This was just me playing around, getting the very first feel for how these performed. Um, here I'm sketching in the um, tree line. And I used all three different shades of green as well as yellow ochre in that. Now that's where you saw me add in that um, cobalt blue to put in a little depth in the sky. And then I'm just taking a water brush and, you know, blending out the tree line. And it didn't take a whole lot of water at all. It, they actually laid down and made a really smooth painterly feel. And I could tell by this point that you could use them both ways. You could actually use these as just a regular oil pastel and not, um, you know, add water. Or you could add water to disperse the pigment and spread it around and control it a little better. Now on the lower half here, I'm sketching in the pathway. And that color that I used was um, burnt sienna. Uh, all of the earthier tones were really pretty and rich. I was really enjoying it. I'm using the same three shades of green and yellow ochre as well in order to create both grass patches going along the side areas of um, the pathway there. And as I do each side, I'm just going to take a water brush and I'm going to disperse that pigment and make that make it smooth. Now, this made for the ability to layer really really well and what I love about these is that after the first layer is dry it kind of made the um, paper a little bit more toothy so it allowed me to continue to layer really well um, now I'm doing that bottom cloud there I just kind of wanted it to look like it was behind um, the tree line and then I cleaned that white crayon on my finger and actually took the pigment from my finger and just kind of dabbed it back into the clouds and blended them out now I'm going to take uh, the darkest green along with black to add shadow into that horizon line and to just give it depth. I really wanted the feel that you could see back up in there or that it went far back in there. And um, the black it was really opaque and actually pretty. And I don't think it made the painting flat at all. I was able to add the darker green back on top to... Um, blended into an even darker green with the black. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Now you're just going to see that I am sketching and etching out some shrubs and some little grasses into the side panels here. And um, then I'm going to go in and add some more color into the clouds. I felt like, you know, we had a blue sky, so they would probably be reflecting blue. Maybe not the most accurate clouds in the world, but again, not a masterpiece. This is the art journal. So, you know, this is where we get to play around. This is the playground. And I was trying out a new medium. So I just wanted to see what it would turn out to look like, you know, and I actually enjoyed them. I enjoyed using these. Um, they perform a lot like watercolor crayons, but they give you a oil feel. Um, and they were really nice. Yeah, I enjoy them. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend and add and deepen color here. I uh, just wanted to really see how much I could layer. I'm going to add in a few rocks and just to give it a little bit more, you know, interest to the picture. And then comes in the quote of the day. All right, guys, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, share, and always just keep painting.